In this example, I show you how to access your SAS dataset from within SAS by directly referencing the file's location in Windows. Here's a file someone's emailed to me. I select the path, and then I copy it by choosing Copy from the Edit menu. I go into the SAS environment, and I can start referring to the file directly in my code. So here I'll write a proc contents, and instead of using the standard two-part naming scheme, I'm going to paste the path in. So I open quotes, choose paste from the edit menu, and then I finish the path off by including the file name, which in this case is example db. Because this is a SAS dataset, I want to finish the file name sas7bdat. Close quotes, add a semicolon, and when I run this code, you can see that I do indeed have access to this data set inside the SAS environment. Well, this is fine for a one-off analysis. If I wanted to use the data set again in the future, I could actually use this same referencing trick within a data step. Here I'm going to copy the data set to my lab, give it a new name called new data. And again, I'm going to paste path in, so I open quotes, paste, and then I finish off the path with the file name. Again, the file's name is example db and I finish the file name sas7bdat, close quotes, and when I run this segment of code you can see that the data set will have been copied from its current location over to mylib. It'll work fine in the log, and when I check the explorer, navigate to mylib, you can see that the data set has been successfully copied, and that's all there is to it.